hello. <laughs> I said I was going to go live today. Um, I'm actually going to end up putting this to just members, but you can't, um, I couldn't figure out how to do that first. So what I thought I'd do, because I don't have a piano, so I can't play for you unless, of course, I wanted to play on my keyboard, which is over here behind me. It's not the same thing. It's just not. So what I thought I'd do is take you on a quick tour of where the piano used to be. And uh, when it comes back uh, in a couple of weeks time, what we're planning to do to make a change to the acoustics in the room. So I have to be able to figure out how to turn this around first. So let's let's try and work out how to do that. I'm not quite sure if that's going to work. Um, I'm just going to quickly show you my office first. It's a big mess. Look, it always is. You know, offices are always pretty messy. I've got the photos of, you know, the mandatory family photos, the CD stock, um, a little bit of CD merch here. Um, I've got some lovely photos, actually, some beautiful photos, which I really love. There's my, my mum and dad. <laughs> um, Fiona the Lion Tamer. I was um, six months pregnant when they when I was nursing that little baby cub. Uh, lots more photos here. It's a messy office, but you know, it has everything and it works. And um, there's lots of great posters around. This is one of my paintings from way back when I had time to actually paint. This is from a small tour that I did with Will Ackerman in Australia um, a while ago. That's one I did with Lisa Downing and Trisette. Oh, this is super messy. I'm planning to get doors put on the front of all of these cupboards because at the moment I just have more stuff than I have space to put it. <laughs> um, I did a concert with Buku. Buku is well known from The Voice in Australia. And I've played at the Glass House. I tried to frame one of all the different types of posters so that I didn't end up with just sort of stuff everywhere. I just frame a, f a few. I did a tour, quite a few tours with Flo, um, Lawrence Blatt, Jeff Oster, Will Ackerman. Flo's actually, if the word Flo is Fiona Lawrence Oster Will. And we played at Carnegie three times. So of course that was going to make it as a poster. Oh, I do, I do collect snake skins. I think they're really beautiful and I think they're quite spiritual animals. And these were pythons and they're matching a pair of five foot matching pythons and I've collected those two skins and they're actually I believe for good luck so so there you go I like spiders as well because I guess I'm a bit of a strange person but that's just me um, I don't even know what that's from I don't know where I did a concert for that but I've got a lot of these posters from China so um, it, of course I can't tour in China at the moment because the world has changed and it's at the moment you're actually in lockdown for uh, 21 days before you can even get into China so it just doesn't make any sense to tour there so so that's my office <laughs> not sure if I showed you the computer screens I've always got a big to-do list and I've got a whole big to-do board over there with all the pieces that I'm working on and sometimes I have another helper come into the office and so I have another computer right here so while, while we're looking at the keyboard, which I'm not going to play for you because I really don't enjoy, I'll practice the keyboard, but I don't enjoy performing on one. I recently did um, a book of my music and it's available for a download as a PDF and also the book and the, the quality of the pages is what I am super, super impressed with. Really, really well done. I had it printed um, in Hong Kong. And I only did a hundred of them, but it's really, it's really lovely final product. And I, I will get a second book done. It's 60 pages, 14 titles. And the only place at the moment that you can buy the download or order the physical book is on Kofi or Coffee. It's K-O-F-I. You can also buy this book, I believe, on as merchandise on my Spotify page. So if anyone's interested in sheet music... So I will take you back now to, to looking at me. I'm not sure that that's a good idea at all, actually. <laughs> so um, we're going to go into my music room now. 
and you'll see where the piano used to be and you're going to see a big mess but this is a work in progress so uh, this is where the piano used to be and these are the acoustic tiles and i have a hundred i actually have 250 of them so there's all of those ones there all of these ones sitting on here and there's another box that many again in a box and they are all compressed so what you do is you get them out and then 48 hours later they've um, plumped up into the size that you can see there on the floor so the piano was here what we're going to do is these frames that you can see over here there's a whole series of them that will go right along the wall from the door edge going right around the room and inside that frame they're actually out in the garage because i have to paint them <laughs> inside that frame goes a piece of whiteboard and then onto the whiteboard we will staple the acoustic tiles and then um, it'll all be stained up and it'll look really pretty and then the other thing that we're doing because to get good acoustics you actually need something on the roof as well We've made up these frames and spray painted them. They've had two coats. And then we'll cut out the whiteboard and um, hand, um, I don't know exactly how we're gonna attach it. I think Bass is gonna do it also with a, um, with a staple gun. And then we'll put acoustic tiles in that and we've got nine of them and they'll go higgledy-piggledy all over the roof. And they'll hang, some will be flat to the roof, some will hang down a little bit, some will hang down a lot further. So it just gives you um, a little bit of um, absor acoustic, like noise absorption for the roof because it's a very big piano and it's a very bright room. And of course, under the piano will go a big rug as well. So I can't wait to get the piano back. That piece of furniture has to go so it'll be a whole whole new feeling in this room and the acoustics will be so much better. So at the moment, I have no dog here, so you can see all the dog toys, but he's actually gone to the farm with Bass today. So I don't, I don't have him. Um, at the moment, I'm painting all of the detail edges for all of these panels. So this is my little, little workstation here. I've done that lot and they're all drying. And then this is the next lot that I'm about to start staining here. So it's a huge job and all of the, the big large size frames are all out in the garage and I'll probably do those tonight. And then Bass and I will work on them on Friday and put them into place. So that when the piano comes back, um, you will have a much better sounding room. So there's a lot of stuff in here because we've we painted the house. We've done a whole pile of things during COVID, which I guess everybody did. So um, it's a little bit of a mess in here, but that's the way it goes. Actually, I will show you one of my completed pieces and it's not very good lighting in here, but that's called The Wedding and it's mixed media on canvas and it's the story of my sister's wedding. <laughs> she, it's kind of like a little bit of a vortex. She wanted a Mediterranean style wedding and she was wearing hot pink. And as most weddings go, it was just this, this whole kind of circular thing of, you know, all the things that were happening in the organization. And it was like a whirlwind, I guess, in the organization process. So I actually painted that, put that on canvas as a, as a picture. And um, it was hanging in the Mossman Millennium Art Prize. So that was... Um, that was a little bit of a bonus for me. I haven't done a lot of painting lately because my music took off when I thought I was going to be an artist. My music did way, way better. That made me happier. That's what I wanted to do. So I kind of left the painting and I've yet to catch up and get back to it. But I'm hoping um, that one day I'll have enough time to be able to do some more paintings. <laughs> I don't have a lot of my own work here in this room. I'll see if I can find a few others. I mostly collect other people's art because I don't really like to live with my own paintings on the wall. I sort of like to just sell them and get on with it, you know, it gives me a reason to paint a new one. But that's one that my mother had hanging and they downsized, so I got that one back. You can't really see it through the glass, but it, it has music on canvas. You can see the little bits of music in there. 
it's mixed media. Um, so it's yeah, it's interesting the things that we do, <laughs> and the lives that the lives that we have. Um, that is a card of one of my paintings there. In fact, I've got quite a few cards made up of my artwork because they always make nice cards. You know, they're bright and and um, they make you smile. I'd like to think one of my favourites uh, was made into a print. And that's this one here. I don't want to knock all those off the table. Um, that's That was a, an oil on canvas originally, but I do have a number of prints of that now. So that's another, another favorite. I don't think I've got anything else. Some of you might know about the um, Angel Above My Piano. I have an album called Angel Above My Piano. When the piano comes back and we finish the room, I'm hoping that we can find a spot for this. It'll probably go um, on an easel in the corner. So um, it won't quite be above my piano, but it'll be right next to it. And behind this, I have the very first painting that I did um, in the process of becoming a commercial artist and that was that is oil on canvas for some reason I just decided to keep that one because I really like it so it was never for sale and I just thought I'd even though I don't have a wall to put it on I just thought I'd keep it so I've done a lot of stuff like that and then I've done a lot of the bright music with um, you know with the music on the canvas so I'll come back now <laughs> so thank you to um, all of my YouTube members for subscribing to my channel and for following what I do I will get back to doing live concerts uh, when I get my piano you just have to wait a little while I'm sending out uh, the people that have joined my channel um, I'm sending you out your free song today so anyone else that wants to join uh, watch the join my channel video and you can um, hear a little bit more about it. So I'll sign off now. There's a few people online watching. Hi. <laughs> yeah, thanks to all my supporters. I really do appreciate it. It helps me to be able to keep going and make more music. Um, recording costs are absolutely unbelievably high. But it's something that I have to do uh, when you're a musician. You can't not write new music. It's just that creative thing it's it's how you communicate with the world and it's just what you what you have to do and you have to find a way to do it and that's that's the thing it wouldn't matter how much it cost I'd find a way to do it so I'm pleased that you enjoy the music it's, it says a lot to me and it's very helpful so everybody have a beautiful day and I'll look forward to playing for you as soon as I get my piano back okay bye <laughs>